Good morning, Metalheads of the Internet. Welcome to a new episode of the Metal Meltdown. And today, we are looking at the third studio album from the one and only Baby Metal, entitled Metal Galaxy. Over the course of literally the last decade, Baby Metal has become one of the most iconic, but also one of the most infamous bands in all of modern heavy metal. A lot of people love this band, a lot of people love how energetic and bombastic and weird they are. For a lot of people, this has even become a gateway band to a lot of heavy metal music in general. But there's also a lot of people who fucking hate this band, they despise this band. The existence of this band is a threat to everything they hold dear. I don't think I need to clarify where exactly metalheads stand on this issue. I mean, we're not exactly talking about the most open-minded demographic of music listeners out there. Yeah, here's a shocker. The big, macho, brutal metalheads who listen to incredibly violent, inherently misogynistic, and fucked up music are offended by fucking teenage girls prancing around on stage singing about chocolate. Unfucking believable Bunch of fucking pussies, a lot of ya. What's more shocking, honestly, is that baby metal is even still around. I mean, don't get me wrong, I have enjoyed baby metal, as have many other people. I have enjoyed uh, their antics. I have enjoyed their music within small bursts. I find it genuinely quite cheesy, but in a fun way. And of course, as always, I will automatically enjoy anything that pisses off greasy metal elitists, so there you go. But even so, I'm still just shocked that baby metal is still around. I kind of assumed that by now they would fizzle out. Either the gimmick would run dry and North American audiences would lose interest, or these girls would get too old and whoever's in charge of this band would move on to another project, another girl group. I mean, that happens a lot within Japanese pop music, so I don't really see why that would change in the case of baby metal, particularly when they've already lost a member earlier last year. But I guess I'm in the minority because all their songs are still viral hits. They're still selling lots of records. They actually just played a huge show at the LA Forum. I mean, Metallica and Foo Fighters can play that fucking venue by themselves. And now in comes a fucking Japanese pop group just selling the motherfucker like hotcakes. And now we've even been gifted with their third studio album, Metal Galaxy, which on surface level alone looks to be their biggest album yet. I mean, it has contributions from members of Sabaton, Arch Enemy, Polyphia, uh, the production value is higher, the band has more resources, the promo singles we've heard were a lot more refined. So I guess that means that Baby Metal is still killing it, yeah? I guess that means Baby Metal have released a J-pop heavy metal fusion masterpiece unto the world, yeah? Well, I definitely don't think so. I've been particularly patient and open-minded with Baby Metal. I even gave their last album a 4 out of 5, but I'm not gonna lie, I did not really get into this album at all. I genuinely tried. I went in super open-minded. I went in genuinely quite optimistic for that matter because I did enjoy some of the promo material that I heard. But I just came out of this not really feeling anything. I wasn't really excited by anything I had heard. I wasn't really moved. I wasn't really interested or engaged. There were fun moments, no denying that. A lot of good songwriting and production on here. And yet nothing brought me back. Nothing intrigued me enough to convince me to return to this record. It's all sizzle, no substance. Like, this album is the equivalent to eating a shitload of cotton candy. Like, it's nice. It's great. Who doesn't love cotton candy? But cotton candy's not a meal. Cotton candy's not fulfilling. And all that sugar, frankly, is just gonna make you feel off like crap after a while. That's, that's, that's how I feel right now. Like I said, there are still a lot of good moments, so let's talk about those. Uh, opening track, Da Da Dance. I thought that that was a really fun track. I like the beat, I like the melody, I like the electronic bass, and I like how this song and a couple others on the record adopt a vibe very similar to what I feel from... These, this song and some others on the record adopt a vibe very similar to what we hear from a lot of anime, which is kind of cool for people who are into that. I mean, I know that this band has a crossover audience with anime nerds and, and weeaboos or whatever the fuck they're called. I think Distortion featuring Alyssa White Glues of Arch Enemy is a really great track. I like how vicious it is in the verses. I like that it's actually a pretty ominous and atmospheric cut without taking away from the pop grandeur of the chorus. 
I really like Omagini, a track featuring uh, Joe Kim Broden of Sabaton. I mean, the band for this particular track adopts a kind of European folk metal on par with the folkier stuff from Sabaton or even a band like Fin Troll. And they just roll with it and they create this genuinely really enthusiastic raucous folk metal j-pop metal stomping track it's extremely fucking weird but shoot me it was extremely entertaining the preceding track shanti 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 is interesting as well it has a very distinct middle eastern and indian flavor to it it's great to see the boys from polyphia doing something really different with baby metal on this record in particular on the track brand new day a song so bubbly and clean and catchy that I could actually picture it being played on Japanese pop radio. And generally speaking, across the whole record, there's a lot of great performances, a lot of great hooks. There's no denying that the actual backing band for Baby Metal has a lot of fucking talent and a lot of fucking ambition. And even the girls themselves do a pretty good job, even if they're clearly not the most seasoned voices within this genre. I think my problem with this record is that when it isn't doing super weird crazy shit, when they aren't bringing in these collaborators to help them do super weird crazy shit, baby metal just kind of sound like your average J-metal band, like literally the kind of stuff you would hear in an anime opening. We, we talked about Da Da Dance and Brand New Day, both of which do fall dangerously close into falling into that territory completely, but they come out of it a little better because I think they just have more energy and i also think that because they're earlier in the record they're easier to swallow other tracks i can't really say the same thing i mean this whole time i'm half expecting literally the intro to a fucking anime to start playing across my fucking laptop and honestly by the end of this record i'm just kind of exhausted because even when this record is doing a really good fucking job it's still inherently very overwhelming and, and uh, overproduced even at times. There's just so much going on, so many complicated flavors, so many performances, so many outside influences, all of which fighting for the spotlight at the exact same fucking time. I also found that generally speaking, even the best songs on here just weren't as catchy as some of their previous tracks. I mean, believe it or not, I still remember Metsune to this day. I still remember Doki Doki Morning. I still remember Gimme Chocolate, but I don't really remember a lot of the stuff on here. I mean, off the top of my head, I can really only remember Homage and I and Distortion from start to finish. And I know what you're thinking. Well, Robert, the record's brand new. You gotta give it time. And I suppose you're not inherently wrong, but compare that to the recent record from Issues, where a lot of those pop metal jams were not only immediately stuck in my head, but they're still stuck in my head. I, I'm honestly this close to buying the fucking thing on vinyl. In the end, I'm gonna give this a three to five and not a particularly enthusiastic one, if we're being honest. If you choose to sit down and listen to it, and you've enjoyed previous baby metal records, and you're open-minded to a J-pop heavy metal sound, that I don't see any reason why you still wouldn't enjoy this. It's not devoid of anything fun and entertaining. There's just not enough ultimately to bring me back. And if I am once again in the minority on that, then so fucking be it. I would say to virgin listeners who literally have never heard of this band somehow, I would tell you to approach this the same way that you would approach maybe an actual Japanese anime. Acknowledge that it's dumb. Acknowledge that it's stupid. Acknowledge that it's ridiculous. Turn your brain off and just enjoy it for the batshit insanity that it is. Because if you don't, it's just not gonna work for you. Or to go back to my previous analogy, if you like cotton candy, pick this thing up as well. It's sweet, it's simple, it's cheap. Everyone can enjoy it to some extent. Fun for the whole family, you know? Kids love cotton candy. Kids will love baby metal. Kids probably already have loved baby metal. Like I said, this is probably a gateway band for many kids. But I'm an adult, God damn it! I want beer, I want foie gras, I want a fucking fancy ass meal. And unfortunately, I'm just not getting that out of this record. Not that I should have ever expected it, mind you, but nonetheless. Three to five, there's a lot of really good stuff on here, but I don't really think it's worth it unless you are already a diehard fan or someone that is crazy open-minded. To, to, to everyone else, approach it with patience and a little bit of caution. And that is it. For the Metal Meltdown, I'm not an expert, nor do I claim to be. So what do you think? Do you like this record? Do you not like this record? And what do you want to hear from me next? Thank you for watching. Make sure you press subscribe so you get updates on the Metal Meltdown e-fucking-immediately. And you have yourself a fantastic fucking day.